What's up, guys? From driver101.com. Big Ken here. Let's get down to business. Uh, I'm sitting here at this place, and they have these fancy docks, right? And these fancy dock alarms that are supposed to go off if we move forward to keep the high-low drivers from getting hurt. Because uh, when the way it works, if you're new to trucking or you're not in trucking, uh, you back up to what's called a dock. It's a, basically a hole in a building. And that building, if you pull out and the high-low driver's going in, he could come down and kill himself. It happens every year. Or he could be literally in the truck. I have pulled away from a dock because the dock worker put the green light on, which says pull forward. I pull forward, right? He's still in the truck. <laughs> I back up to let him out, you know, back in the building. Good thing nobody died. That was on him because he gave me the green light. The thing that I want to talk about is that a lot of the technology that does all this stuff doesn't work. I'm at this place. They spent, I think he said $20,000 a dock, I think, for this new system. It's been around for three years. And it doesn't work anymore. It completely doesn't work anymore. It's completely gone out. And this is a trend in trucking that I just think is interesting, how so much of our technology doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And I don't understand why is it so easy to sell this crappy technology to trucking companies like how do they not know this stuff doesn't work <laughs> like how do you like it's it's amazing it's like collision detection it doesn't work but people still say it does i just talked to a, um, a guy who's running the automatic truck he was complaining about the fact that the mileage isn't as high as they said it was going to be even when i watch commercials where they promote the automatic trucks and, uh, like they used to they don't even quote the mileage anymore if you notice, they don't. Back in the day, they was like, oh, it'll get you this high mileage. And they would quote these numbers. They're not doing that anymore. I've talked to three people who have been pulled over in brand new trucks with automatic transmissions. Pulled over on the side of the road because the automatic transmission went out. None of this technology works. And I don't understand why is it so easy to sell shitty technology to the trucking industry? Is it because we have so many, the people who run our companies nowadays don't know what it's like to drive a truck? Is it because most of these trucking companies just don't think about, most of these, well, I shouldn't say, well, trucking companies and dock owners, they don't think about the future? Do they just like wasting money? It's like, they, they operate to me like a college. You know what I mean? Like colleges will convince some young person uh, to come spend $100,000. I've always believed colleges are, are like a religion. You know, they convince some young person that you're going to be a better person because you spent $150,000 for an education. And then they get this education for one hundred fifty grand and can't find a job. <sighs> I just don't understand why is that? Like, why, why is it that our industry is so bad? It just doesn't make sense. This is, and this is not the first time I've been somewhere where the doc that is... These dock devices they use at our alarms, they're brand new. They're only three years old. $20,000 a dock. Wasted. It's amazing to me. I mean, I want to know how you do that. How do you sell $20,000 a dock to somebody? It doesn't work. And they buy from you again, probably. They'll probably buy from you again. It's just weird. It's only in logistics. Only in trucking. Yes. <laughs> Can you just sell crap products to people and they just keep buying them and buying them and buying them? Anyway, I just thought that was interesting because I cannot believe I'm sitting here. This is about $180,000 worth of equipment that no longer works and it's three years old. <laughs> I just don't get it. Anyway, guys, truck driver 101.